Hello friends, welcome back to Smrecoder. We are back with our video and this is our 7th episode for our grocery WooCommerce series and in this video we will learn how we can design our home page and there we have our slider and for the slider we are going to use our WordPress API and then we have our categories here then we have our weekly deals here and we already having our bottom navigation here so before starting the video if you are new to our channel subscribe the channel by clicking the subscribe button and click the bell icon to get notified about our latest videos thank you So for the slider we required one plugin and that plugin we have developed and I will put the link in the description you can upload that plugin manually from your WordPress and for that you have to click on this add new plugin and from here you can click the upload plugin and from here you can select that zip file and you can upload in your system. After that you have to activate the plugin from here and then you can have the working slider plugin in your wordpress that will be used for your rest apis and let's see how it is working so this is our application and we have two requests here like one is for the get request for getting all the slider in our system and the second one is the post request for uploading any slider in your system so if i click here in the get request you can see here we have getting two sliders here and now let's add some slider here we will select your post request in the authorization you have to put your username and your password for your admin panel for the wordpress in the body you have to select your form data and then we have the title content here in the title i will change it to slider 3 here the description to slider 3 and the image we will select here so here we selected the slider 3 file so now we will click here send request you can see here we are getting the message slider item successfully added and also we are getting a post id here and here the post id is 127 and you can also see the same in your wordpress also so when you install the plugin here you will see in the left hand menu you will see one slider option here and that slider when you click on the sliders you will see all the sliders here so you can upload any new slider from here also so like if i click on the add new post I will put here slider 4 and from here I will select the image so you can see here I have selected the file here so now once it's uploaded I will click on this set feature image you can see here if I click here now the image is selected here here so if I click on the publish now if I go to the sliders you can see here we are getting all the four sliders so now if I go to our postman request and if I change it to get request if i click on the send now you can see all the four sliders are coming here one we have added from our postman and the fourth one we have added from our wp admin so now let's move further for our flutter application and there we will do the integration for this slider part and all so first of all we have to create our model file and for that we have to go to a lib folder under that we have the models folder inside that we will create a new file we will name it as a slider underscore model dot dot file so now we will create the class here class slider model here we have to create three variables string type of title string type of content string type of image here we will create the constructor here slider model this dot title this dot content this dot image here we have to write slider model from json this will be used for parsing our data string dynamic json title is equal to json title we'll copy this one two time and we will change it to content here we will change it to image so now we have to go to our config file there we have to provide our slider url here we will press enter we will write here static 
string slider url is equal to slash wp json slash custom slash v1 slash sliders because it is under our custom endpoint so that's why we have to put like this way so now we will go to our APS service and there we will write our function to get all the data here we have our API file APS service so what we have to do we have to just copy paste our existing function we will just copy our get categories and we will paste here so now here we have to do some modifications first of all we will change it to get sliders and here we will change it to slider model now here authentication is not required we will remove it query string is not required we will remove it and here also and this api endpoint is not required because this is related to wp json wc that is default woocommerce endpoint but we have created the custom we have created a custom endpoint for our slider api we will change it to slider url and here we have to write one small function inside our slider model and for that we can just copy this one also we will just go there categories from json we will copy from here and we will go to our slider model and in the top we will just paste here and we will copy this model file and here also we will rename as a sliders from sliders from json and we will change a slider from json so now our function is ready get slider so for the slider we are going to use one package so this is the slider package which we are going to use in our application flutter crasol visits and we will do its integration in our application it will be look like this way so let's move to our code part we will go to the pop spec and we will paste here this package and we will save here so now we will close everything and now we have to go to our pages inside that we have our dashboard there we have our navigator item and here in the first one we just we are using it size box instead of that we will map it with our new page which we will create that is home screen and we will create the folder here we will name it as a home inside that we will create a new page we will name it as a home underscore page dot dot file we will make it as a stateless widget home page we will copy name and we will paste here and for our main dot dot file we will change here as a home page as a dashboard because in our previous page we will make as a category as a home page here we will copy this one and paste here we will name as a categories and this one we will change it to dashboard so we will save it and we will run our application side by side we will do the design part also so by default it's showing a register page because we have mapped the default page as a register here so now from here we can change it to in dashboard also or we can just change it to slash that is mapped to dashboard and we will refresh here you can see here we are getting a home page then we have the categories here then we have our cart then we have our account everything that we will cover later on in the next upcoming videos so we can go to this shop icon and from here we have to just go to our home page and from here we will write our code so here first of all we have to change it to scaffold widget and from here we have the body and we will use here safe area then we have the child here and we are using a single child scroll view and then in the child we are using a center widget and here we are using column widget now we have the multiple children's and we will put here text visit delivery in 10 minute and we will change the style here text style font weight 20 then we have our font here we have the font weight we are using a font weight dot bold 
then we have our font size we are using it 20 and here we have to make the slider list we will write here visit underscore slider list we will return here future builder and from here we have our list slider model and here we have the future we are calling here APS service dot get sliders and from here we have to put question mark then we have our builder here and there we have our context then we have our snapshot now from here we will check if snapshot dot connection state is equal to connection state dot waiting then we will show the loader here we will return here constant center visit then we have our child and we are using a circular progress indicator in the else we will check here else if snapshot dot has error we will return here center visit child we are using a text visit error loading sliders in the else if condition we will check here if not of snapshot dot has data or snapshot dot data is empty then we will show here we'll copy this one and we will paste here we will change the message to no sliders found after this we will return here size box we will make the height as a 230 then we have the child here and we are using here flutter casserole and we will import the package here here we have the options and we will write here casserole options height we are using here 400 then we have the slider show and we will put it show sliders true then we have the slide indicator and we will put a circular slide indicator indicator border color and we are using a color slot green color then we have indicator background color same color we will use here then we have autoplay we will make it true autoplay interval we will put the duration seconds to enlarge strategy we are using a center page dot scale after that we have the items here we will map with our snapshot dot data dot map here we have the item container we are going to use here margin we are putting here as in that dot all five and here we will put to list here we will write child and we are using a clip rect and we are using a border radius border radius dot circular then then we have the child here and we will use image dot network image dot image then we have the fit here we are using a box fit dot fill so we have to call this function from here we will say you can see loader is loading here you can see it is working here we are getting four images you can see slide is working here so now let's move further so now we have to do the same for our categories also and for that we have to just copy this code and we will paste here we will rename it as a underscore categories list here we will change it to category model here we will change it to cat categories 
everything will be same here we will change error loading categories and here no categories found now here we have to change the code and we have to change it with our we will remove all the code here now here we will change it to list view dot builder here we have the padding we will use here edge instead dot zero scroll direction we will use here axis dot horizontal then we have our item count we have snapshot dot data dot length then we have our item builder we have context index final category item is equal to snapshot dot data index then from here we will return guest detector on tap event we can copy from our category page also and here we have the child we are using a container padding agent set dot all 10 then we have the item we will pass here then here we have the child we are using a category item card visit here we have two parameter first one will be item we will pass here category item then we have a color here we are using a hex color grid color index we will import here this grid color percentage of grid color so we will go to our category page and there we have the grid colors we will just copy this one and we can paste here here we will write dot length now we will call this one after slider and we have to give some spacing also we will put here size box height 10 you can see here we have sliders then we have our categories coming here so now we will write the same code similar code for our product listing also we will copy this one and we will paste here we will change it to products list here we will change it to product model here we have get products here we will change it to products same here so here we have to change the code here and here in the size box we have to define our size 200 and here in the list view we have to use our separated scroll direction will be horizontal length will be same everything then we have our item builder and from here we have to just call our product item card wizard here we have to just pass our child item that will be over this one and we will name it as a product item we will save it and here we can define our separated builder also we have context index from here we will return constant size box width 20 we will refresh here and we have to call this function and same we have to give the size box here for the height now you can see three loaders are loading here here we have the slider then we have the categories then we have our products here before this we can also show the text here we will name it as a weekly deals and we will change it alignment here we have to show in the left align align child here we will change it to alignment text align here we have alignment dot left center left you can see weekly deals are coming here we can also give some padding here so this is our home page that is ready so that's all in this video i hope you liked the video don't forget to subscribe to our channel in the upcoming video we will do our card page and the account page also so stay tuned like comment share i will come back soon with another awesome video thank you for watching the video